The phenotypic expression of the information contained in the genome is governed by the interaction of the organism with the world that it lives in. It's actually impossible to understand the expression of the genome without understanding the context of the organism. We're approaching biocomplexity by building a very large, integrated scientific program that extends from the very mathematics of understanding what we mean by genetic sequencing through things like social networks and policy analysis. The mathematics that allows us to abstract these massively interacting systems, the computational capabilities to deal with these abstractions, and this incredible ability to store information, those are the things that have enabled us to take a biocomplexity approach to the, to the life sciences. We're pioneering the synthetic information platform, both methodologically and technologically, to push our study of the life sciences in this massively integrative way. Synthetic information platforms pull in large amounts of data and they produce synthetic information libraries that are connected together uh, by certain context questions to understand how things influence, interact, and affect one another on these massive scales. We are very interested in, in biocomplexity and, and this means really this paradigm shift. Typically we look at genomes as sequences of nucleotides. The study of RNA and RNA folding patterns means to focus on relational patterns and not on the actual gene sequence. The mathematical challenges lie in deriving uh, new recursions to construct uh, these RNA structures efficiently. One focus of that work is the design of fast folding algorithms. Their use is on various levels. We are interested in the local molecular dynamics as the virus mutates, and you're interested in the spread of the virus, which is given by the network and the interactions of the people. Socio-technical systems are a part of the biocomplexity continuum. The systems start from very basic elements like the molecules, go all the way through DNAs, RNAs, cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and human elements. And the very end uh, of these systems comprise of networks of humans and the society that they live in and the infrastructure systems they create. This is a unique approach that combines advances in computing, data sciences, and sensor systems to study complex socio-technical systems. The approach consists of a network representation combined with algorithmic concepts. In the end, this approach leads to high-performance computing-enabled decision support systems that can be used for planning, response, and situation assessment to study and reason about these complex systems. The data available to us today to be able to model biocomplexity at a societal level is extremely rich. If you imagine the flows of data in the city, all of the behaviors and actions that we take leave a digital trace of some sort. Through harnessing all of these data flows that we have in our cities, we are able to move past talking about big data and data science into actually developing revolutionary new ways to statistically integrate all of this information and to be able to model and understand the social condition quantitatively at scale. That's the integration of environmental conditions, social conditions, physical conditions. So all of these data flows and all of this information that can leverage the concepts of biocomplexity will allow us to model and recreate and understand going from molecules to policy. Human health sits at the intersection of policy making and biocomplexity. Making good public health policy decisions is a challenge that VBI approaches through creating synthetic information systems. What these are is very detailed representations of the system at hand, maybe it's society at large or maybe a healthcare system, 
And then by combining many sources of data and many procedures that can operate over these layers of data, we're able to better understand the system as a whole. Some of our work recently and supporting the federal response to the Ebola crisis in West Africa showed how being able to combine these different sources of data, not all of them health related, uh, allowed us to make better decisions and support real time policy making uh, in ways that previously we weren't able to do. And so in the future, I only see that uh, continuing to improve. Biocomplexity is going to have a major role in our approaches to the integrated use of science in these large complicated systems that we call nations and ecologies and personal health. Having tools that allow public policymakers to connect to lab scientists, to connect to physicians, politicians, and everyday people on the street will change everything.